Good afternoon, peeps. It's Tammy Brock here, reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Facebook Marketplace, and Depop. Um, I did a bunch of sourcing this uh, weekend, this past weekend, Friday and uh, Saturday. I went sourcing at uh, a Goodwill outlet, Ben's, both of them in uh, Orlando. And then Saturday, I went to the Buy the Pound sale at the Salvation Army, which they have once a um, month on the first Saturday of the month. And it's a dollar a pound at the Salvation Army. The Goodwill bins is $1.89 a pound. I'm going to go through what I got at both Goodwill bins. Um, I think we got to the first one around 1130 around 11.30 and um, spent two or three hours there. And then we went over to the other one. They closed at five. I think we got there possibly around 3.30. I'm not really sure, wasn't keeping track of it. And um, we stayed there until they closed. So um, both places, I'm gonna go through the Goodwill um, bags that I got and then another video will be the Salvation Army and some other little small thrifts um, that I got before this weekend that I haven't shown. And then um, I also got a box from Helpsy Source. It's a all Chico's box. So I will do that unboxing in another video because I, I think everything, I can't put everything all in one video. So today I'm gonna go through the Goodwill bags that I got. I got six bags all together. There were 50 items, um, some of which uh, were my sister's. Um, I think she got six or seven items. So I have approximately 43 items. And um, I paid, ironically, $36.23 at both places, the exact same amount. So I got 18 pounds of stuff. Um, at both places. So if um, you average out the cost of goods, everything comes out to be $1.45 each. So I'm going to show you the Goodwill bags, the stuff that I got at the Goodwill bins, and then I'll, if I have enough time, I'll go over uh, my final sales for the month of January. If not, then I'll just give you the totals. So let's get into the um, haul portion. I did pick up, since it is kind of a, a ski season, I did pick up a pair of ski overalls. They're women's, they're light blue, and they are Obermeyer. Oh, I'm sorry, they are men's. It says, style Randy, Obermeyer men's large. I'll show you the tag, Obermeyer men's large, style Randy on there if you can see it. And they are a light blue. There are some kind of like uh, stains on the side, so I'm going to throw them in the washer. It's just a pair of overalls. So $1.45, I'll probably ask, I don't know, $25 on that, depending on whether I, the stains come out. So I'm going to throw those in the wash before I take pictures. I picked up a pair of Aero joggers size extra small, brand new with tags. These are Aeropostale. I only picked them up because uh, they were new with tags. Let's see if it has a price on there. Um, 58.9, oh, sorry, 56.95. Really cute. I like those. Really cute joggers. Kind of like a very light gray, zip pockets in the front, drawstring waist. So I'll probably list those for 2025. I haven't run comps on um, this stuff yet, so um, I'm just going to give you a ballpark of what I think I might list it for. This was a very nice um, coat, and it looks like it is new with tag. It just doesn't have new without tag. It has the little thing where it's still attached, um, and it's by Joie which is a pretty good brand. And it looks like to be kind of like a raincoat. Um, it's hooded. Um, and it's got the little uh, toggle buttons. 
on the front. Doesn't look like it's ever been worn. And it is uh, lined. It's a very nice jacket. It's a navy blue, if you can't tell. It's got pockets on the front there. Good pockets. Snap pockets. Yes. So put your gloves in that. And they're very nice. And this is a size small. So I picked that up because it was new without tags. I thought somebody might be able to use that. It's very nice. I need to get that posted. I picked these up because they were new with tags also. Um, they are from Catherine's and they are a sateen stretch pair of uh, cropped jeans that were white. Um, Goodwill was asking $20. It looks like um, Catherine's was asking $54 for them. So I think that will be a nice pickup for the spring coming up. So I'll probably list those for $25. Oh, and the joie jacket, probably maybe $30. 35 not sure i picked this up it's a polo jeans company ralph lauren just a little um sweater has the little flag there on the wrist where it says ralph lauren a little uh, i don't know sea green color but i thought somebody might want that it's a size medium first bag down this I picked up I just like the style and it's by Emery Rose I wasn't sh I don't know the brand it was new with tag um, it doesn't have a price on it it's just like a little green tiered uh, like an empire waist dress kind of gauzy cotton bell sleeves it buttons in the back with a um, keyhole kind of a midi dress with a ruffle on the bottom I just thought that was kind of cottage core boho so you could wear some boots with that if you're going out to dinner or the rodeo or you know put some flats on these I picked up um, they are by BCB Generations. Uh, it's kind of like a uh, they're a cropped uh, capri pant with the slit in the side, wide leg. They do, they look really comfortable. Buttons down the side, ties in the front, and a Kind of like a tan color. I just thought those look really comfortable. So probably $20 on those. The dress probably $20. This I picked up. I love the color. Love the style. It's by Torrid. And it is a size 5. Which is a 5X in Torrid. Really pretty colors. A cute little. I guess it could be a dress. It's flannel, colorful plaid, um, zips down the front, and it has drawstring waist. So I just thought that was so cute, and it's so, so, so very soft. So I'll probably list that for 25 This I picked up. Oh, and I have to tell you, um, it's coming up. I, I, oh, I think I left it out outside. I'll have to go get it. But um, I found a vintage from 1966, I believe, Gucci scarf at the Goodwill Benz. I mean, I, am, I was just floored. But anyway, here's another scarf that I picked up. Very pretty colors. And it is by Christian Dior, I believe. Yes, Christian Dior. I'll show you. I look at scarves. I try to look at scarves. And I try to pick up ones that um, have a name on them. So this one is by Christian Dior, very pretty. I haven't run comps on this, so I have no idea what I'm gonna um, list it at. Um, I picked up a We The Free, which is Free People, one of their um, brands. 
um, really cute uh, tan and white sweater, big balloon sleeves. Um, it doesn't have a size on it. I'm going to guess it's probably, in their sizing, probably a small and it's oversized. So a medium could wear it very well, I'm sure. But um, I'll put the measurements in it when I do post it. I was going to see if it said on the tag. Oh, it's a, it is a medium. Sorry, I misspoke. It is so cute. It's got a pocket on the front. I just thought that was so cute. So I'll probably list that for around 30. I picked this up. It is by Chico's and it is a size two, which is a size large. And it's the newer, newer tag, which puts um, the sizing on it, not just the Chico's vanity sizing. Um, it's kind of like a I guess a maroon and pink jacket, little jacket with some fringe around the pockets. And it's an open jacket that doesn't have any buttons. But all around the edges, fringed. I thought that was very pretty. Probably 25 on that. Last one in the second bag is a Ben Hogan Performance 30% Recycled Polyester Size 3X. And it is new with tags. Uh, golf shirt. Ben Hogan, I believe, is uh, a golf brand. It's got uh, UPF 15 sun prote protection, moisture wicking, wick, moisture wicking, and stretch fabric. Excuse me, I can't talk today. Um, and it said it was $16.92. They may be sold at Walmart. So I'll probably only list this for like $12, but it's a size 3X. So I thought, you know, maybe some uh, golfer might like that. And it, it's new with tags. It's a pretty color. All right. Picked up another new with tags golf shirt, another Ben Hogan. Another 3X. Maybe I could um, lot them together. So that one's a blue striped. Same thing as the other one. So maybe I'll lot them together. Sell them both for $20. I picked this up for... Oh, I didn't pick it up for my son. I did pick up one, up one for my son. It may be in here. This is called the American Outdoorsman. It's a size extra, extra large. And it's like a fishing shirt. Really um, pretty blue color. I don't know. That's the little logo that's on the back. It looks like a fish. But really pretty blue color. I like it. Probably 20 bucks. I picked up... This is the shirt that I picked up for my son. It's a, just a Columbia um, polo shirt. PFG. So... I will uh, wash that up and give that to him. These I picked up. They were new with tag. I don't know the brand. It's Petal and Pup. It doesn't have a price on here. Uh, a Talarin pant. Um, they are a size 2. And they're, it says they're beige. But I just thought they were cute. They are uh, corduroy button it up corduroy with a little rolled cuff on the bottom i just thought they were cute and they are new with tags so i'll probably list those for around 20. and last item in this bag is a pair of miss sook exclusively miss sook which is a um, pretty good brand to pick up i've seen it on other people's videos and this is a size I think it's probably an older um it's a two uh two petite so kind of like a stretchy knit pants uh wide leg kind of like the Chico's Travelers feels like they are acetate um they look like it they would be comfortable 
kind of like a work pant, I think. So I don't, I don't know comps on that, on these, so I'm not going to give you a price. I'd have to look it up, but all right. Next bag. I, I, I don't know why I picked this up. I did pick it up. Well, it was new with tag, I guess. And it is an Orange Theory little tank top from Orange Theory. I thought maybe somebody that belongs to Orange Theory might want uh, one of their uh, tank tops for less than $42. That's the tag. So I'll probably list it for $20. Go work out in that. These I picked up. They are Rockin' Republic. Brand new with tag. Let's see if it has a price. It is a Kindle Capri. Doesn't have a price. Doesn't look like a Capri. It says Capri. Low rise, slim through the hip and thigh, and it hits below the calf. And they are a size four. And they are Rock and Republic, which is sold at Kohl's. And they sold for $60. So I'll probably list those for about $25. That's the back of them. Picked up a lot of uh, new with tag stuff. Brands that I wouldn't normally pick up because they just because they were new with tag. This is a uh, Lane Bryant size 20. Which is a larger ladies uh, mall brand, Lane Bryant. Really cute uh, peplum top, sleeveless, uh, faux wrap in the front. I don't know if you can see that with a peplum waist. Pretty plaid, colorful. I thought that would be um, nice for the spring coming up. Has the attached um, belt, which is good. This I picked up, um, I don't usually pick up Coldwater Creek, but it was a size 12 and I just liked, I loved the colors. I thought it would be a beautiful spring dress, maybe Easter dress, looks like it's a midi dress, faux kind of like wrap in the front and um, it's got smocking in the back. I just loved the colors. It's kind of like a fit and flare, I guess. And it's, yeah, I just, I loved the colors on this. Isn't that gorgeous green? So probably um, 25 on that. Um, I picked this up, it's a Chico's. I, I do well with Chico's, I love Chico's. This is a size two, which is a large and a very pretty red tunic sweater with big floral print on it. It's gorgeous. I like it. And that is Chico's. So probably 2025 on that. I picked this up because it's Kansas City Chiefs and they are in the Super Bowl. And it looks like it is a beer holder. Is that not the cutest thing? I have no idea what I'm going to sell it for, but I will get it posted. It's cool. I thought that was cute. I don't know why. I did. Picked up a couple of purses. This one is by Fossil. I loved it with all, let me get it situated so it doesn't look bad. It's got all this fringe on it and it's got the little Good luck charm and it says lucky brand it's got a zip two zip pockets on the front kind of like a hobo bag with fringe a pocket on the back where you could uh, put your cell phone and then on the inside the inside looks great so and it's red it does have some marks on the outside. I'm going to try and see if I can get them out. It looks like they're uh, pin marks. But other than that, it is in really excellent shape. Really excellent shape. So I'll probably list that around 25. Really pretty. I like that purse. I'll put that over here. 
And then the other purse that I picked up, cute little straw bag. It doesn't have a uh, doesn't have a uh, brand on it, but it um, has a leather um, strap. And then you pull it open and put your stuff in it. And it was in really good shape. Looks like it's never been used actually. So cute. Be great for the beach. That's what it looks like. So I'll probably list that for around twenty dollars. I just thought it was cute. Cute if you're going on vacation or a cruise or something like that. I did pick up a fossil wallet. You can see the fossil there. It's like a teal green color. And it looked like it had never been used because it's still got the little uh, silica gel packet in there. Lots of spaces to put stuff, credit cards, money, and then there's a zipper pocket on the outside. Looks like it's in an excellent, excellent condition. So I'll probably list that for around $20. Let's see. This I picked up. It is Talbot's and it's a 16W. And it's a really, really pretty uh, rose colored with the uh, pleats on the front. It's button up on the front and those pleats there. Great, off, great for the office. It is sheer, so you would have to wear a um, camisole under it, but it, it's a really gorgeous top. So I think probably 20, 25 on that. This I picked up because it was brand new with tags. It's by Harbor Bay and it's a 4X. I may ask my son if he's interested in it. I, if not, then I will um, put it up for sale. And it was new with tags that sold at uh, Casual Mail, which is a um, larger size men's store. Um, and it's a uh, button down, short sleeve button down, collared shirt. Um, I think it's uh, black and red. Yep. So that'd be great for the summer. And it is new with tag. I'll ask my son first. And then first time I've ever, I, I found Fig's pants, but this is the first time I've ever found a Fig's shirt. It's a size small, technical collection, green, scrub shirt, probably $20 for that. I picked up some shoes while I was there, not, I think maybe just the three pairs. Aren't these the cutest little boy shoes? They are Timberlands. Let's see, there's the Timberland logo there. So cute, and they're in excellent condition because they grow out of them so fast. These are a uh, what size US 7? Yeah, so cute. Are they not the cutest? I, I couldn't leave them behind, they're so cute. Some little boy needs those in his life. I mean, they have some wear, of course, on the front, but the bottoms look excellent. So, so cute. I think some little boy needs those. These I picked up, I don't know too much about. I mean, I know Hoka uh, tennis shoes are popular, but these are a pair of Hoka flip-flops, men's flip-flops. Um, in pretty decent shape. Does have some wear on the uh, bottoms, but other than that, I mean, I think that it says Hoka 1-1. One, one. Hoka. Can't find the size. I may have to measure it. If I had to guess, I would say probably 10 and a half, 11. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing the size on here. So I will have to measure them. They're just a gray flip flop. It'd be great for the beach. Somewhere on the bottom, but not too, too bad. So I picked those up. I'll have to um, Google those. I don't really know too much about them. I picked these up. I just thought they were uh, really pretty gray. I think they're a faux suede. I don't think they're 
actual suede, but they were Ann Taylor and they are a size eight medium. It doesn't look like they've ever been worn. If they wore probably only one time and in excellent condition. So I just thought those were really, really pretty. So maybe $20 on those, uh, maybe $20, $25 on the Timberlands and the Hoka's, I have no idea. I'll have to wash them up and uh, do a Google lens and see if I can find out, find how much they're worth. I don't know. And my last bag from the Goodwill outlet bins in Orlando. This is a Talbot size medium. It's like a blue chambray shirt, tie front with fringe on the ties and embroidery right here. Really pretty. And then the drop waist. I just thought that was so cute. And it's a size medium. So probably, I'll probably list that for like 20. <clears throat> I picked this up because it is a Levi's jeans jacket. Probably it may be I can see there and it's a size it says it's a size extra large. It is a crop jacket. They do have the sleeves rolled up. Um, so looks like there may be a hole. I didn't notice it. Probably that's why, because the the button they had it rolled up and the button rubbed a hole in it, maybe. I don't know, but I will disclose that in the listing. So cute little Levi's cropped button up jacket, pockets on the front. And that is the back. So I don't know, I haven't run comps on that, so I have no idea what I'm gonna list it for. I picked these up. They are a loft size eight. Cute little pair of cargo capris. Drawstring on the bottom. So maybe $20 on those. I don't usually pick up um, loft, but um, I just liked them. And about three more pairs of shoes. Oh, I did pick up a cute little uh, Tommy Hill figure, just a little wristlet zipper. I thought maybe somebody might be able to use it when they go on a cruise. It's really cute. Looks like it's actually never been used. So maybe $10, $12 on that. I did pick up a strap. It looks like a purse strap um, just to keep on hand in case I get a purse that needs a strap. So I'll throw that in the bin for something that comes in that I like that needs a strap. I picked up a pair of Sam Edelman little ballet flats, brown. They look like they haven't had very much wear. It is a nine W. I don't know what the W means. Really cute little brown flap, uh, I mean brown flat, and I was going to see, it is a leather upper, so, and I didn't run comps on these, so I don't really know if I had to guess, maybe 25, and last but not least, I picked up a pair of toy birch, blue sandals toy birch and it looks like somewhere on the bottom but not too too bad and I let me see if it says a size if I can find the size hmm Oh, it is a seven and a half, and they are a leather upper, leather lining, man-made sole. It says Tory Birch on the side there. I don't know if you can see it. Tory Birch. And it says Tory Birch on this buckle on the side. I don't know if you can see it, but 
I'm I'm totally surprised that these weren't snagged up. I haven't run comps on them. If I had to guess, maybe 35. So that's it for the haul from Goodwill. So I will go through my final sales for the month of January. This was uh, January the 19th through the end of the month. Um, I sold a Brooks Ladies Blazer on Facebook Marketplace for $40. I think I bought it for $5. I don't remember. I couldn't see find where what I paid for it. So my profit on that, it was a local pickup, was $35. A Melinda Maria Star Lariat necklace for $68. I got it free inside a bag that I paid $2 for at a yard sale. And so my profit was $54.40. A pair of Georgia boot uh, Durablend Sport Composite High Top Boots for my son for $75. His net profit was uh, $60. I sold a Brighton Jewels bracelet for $28. I paid $9.99 for it. My profit was $12.41. A Pickluck Navy Blackout Grommet Curtains, a set of uh, two for my uh, boyfriend's granddaughter for $30. Her net profit was $24. A pair of Bombas Sherpa lined gripper booties for $24. I paid $1.64 for them. Uh, my profit was $15.54. I had a lot of a pair of mud jeans, a lot of tin tie, men's ties, and a pair of Bijou Turner earrings. I sold all three of those for $40. I paid $13.28. My profit was $16.70. A pair of Wrangler tan men's dress pants for 15. I paid 15 cents for the pants. So my profit was 11.85. A pair of Denizen boys jeans for $10. I paid 99 cents for the jeans. So my profit was 606. A Victoria's Secret floral lace corset for $15. I think I paid $4 for it. I can't remember. Um, so my profit was $8. A pair of Good American Jeans for $17. I paid $0.55 cents for them, so my profit was $13.05. A pair of Lauren Ralph, no, oh, I'm sorry, Lauren Ralph Lauren Black T-shirt for $15. I think I paid $4 for it, so I made $8. A Tucker Nuck Marguerite Top for $65. I paid $1.18 for it, so um, my profit was $50.82. A pair of ASOS Walk London Black Loafers for $28. I paid $14.99 for them, so my profit was $7.41. A pair of ski goggles for $21. I paid $3 for them, so my profit was $13.80. A pair of Air Jordan Bankroll Shorts for $10. I paid $2 for them, so my profit was $5.05. And they, were, they did have some pulls and a couple spots on them, so I was okay with that. A Casemate Twinkle Disco Magnetic Ring Holder for an iPhone. I uh, sold it for $10, paid $2 for it, so my profit was $505. A Marine Layer Boyfriend Saddle Tee for $16. I paid $599 for it, my profit was $681. A Dark Sided The Loon T shirt for $12, it was for my son, and he made $905. A Splendid Black Cowl Neck Tee for $10. I paid $3.15, so um, I made $3.90. An L.L. Bean Blue Corduroy Button-Up Shirt for $18. I paid $1.75, so my profit was $12.65. A pair of Ferret Records Novelty Print Sneakers for $12. I paid $1.72 for them, so I made $7.33. A pair of Rock and Republic jeans for seventeen. I think I paid five. I'm not really sure, so I profited uh, eight sixty. A pair of Old Navy black long sleeve. Uh, I'm sorry, an Old Navy black long sleeve peasant top. I believe it was new with tag. I sold it for eighteen dollars. I paid three dollars for it, and I made eleven forty. A pair of Kenneth Cole boys. Mario Chucka Boots for $12. I think I paid $6 for them, so I profited $6.94. A starting lineup 1998 Classic Doubles football figures. Um, I sold it for $8. It was for my son, so he profited 
Hiko's Traveler's Black Sheath Dress for $33. I paid $7.98, so I profited $21.23. A pair of Torrid Blue Jeans for $15. I paid $2 for them, so I profited $12.94. A One Kind Facial Oil, which I also um, got free inside that $2 purse for $20. So my profit was $17.76. A Red Sun Boho Embroidered Crossbody Bag for $8. I paid $1.75 for it. I profited $5.62. A Zantex Inverter Charger that I sold for my son for $1,600. And he profited $1,443.59. A Max Studio Green Maxi Dress. It was gorgeous. Emerald Green. $40. I paid $10 for it, so I profited $26.01. An Eddie Bauer black leather belt for $12. I paid $1.44 for it, so I profited $9.40. A Xantrax inverter charger remote control panel for $185 for my son, um, so he profited $163.27. A J. Crew blue long sleeve polo shirt uh, men's for $18. I paid $4 for it. So I profited $12.65. A Free People Beige Lace Long Sleeve Tee for $10. I paid $2 for it. I profited $7.08. A Bowden Pink Cardigan for $22. I paid $2.50 for it. So I profited $16.96. A Gold Baseball Hat for $15. I sold it for, no, I, I paid a dollar for it. So I profited $8.43. A pair of Stuart Weitzman Vintage Espadrilles for $20. I paid $3 for them, so I profited $13. A Swank Tie Clip. It was vintage for $8. I paid $1.29 for it, so I profited $3.76. A Clarion Receiver for $150. That was for my son. He profited $139.85. A Zantrex Auto Generator Starter for $100. That was for my son also. He profited $92.53. So my gross sales for that period were $2,916.80, of which $2,130 was for my son. $30 was for me. Oh, I'm sorry. I had two more sales. A Snow Baby's Christmas Ornament for $10.00. I profited $7.05 and then a J. Crew black peplum waist top, which was $16.80. I paid $3, so I profited $10.91. So um, my gross sales total was $756.80. This is for me. My net sales total was for $2,433.19, of which $1,915.62 was for my son and $24 was for my boyfriend's granddaughter. So my total net sales on 49 sales for that period was $493.57. So the total, my whole total for the month of January, 2024, I had 93 orders. Uh, gross was $4,006.78, of which $2,362 was for my son, Casey. $30 was for my boyfriend's granddaughter, Mackenzie. So mine was $1,614.78. And then the net for the total for the month of um, January was $3,000. $175.52, of which $2,099.62 was for my son Casey, $24 was for Mackenzie, and $1,051.90 was mine. So my son's numbers kind of skew, kind of skew my sales because he has um, some high dollar parts that he sell that he sells. Um, so my gross was $1,614.78, and my net was. $1,051.90 for the month. Like I said, I'm not doing this to make a living. I'm just doing this for uh, fun, which I do have fun. I love the sourcing part. Um, I'm always behind on uh, posting. So if you see something that you like, um, you know, shoot me an email. Um, I'll put my email down below. I'm going to... Uh, I do sell on Poshmark at Brock1902. I sell on eBay at Brock1902 slash Mimi's Closet. I sell 
on Marketplace at Brock 1902 and Depop is Brock 1902. Um, and I'll put those links down there. Also, I'm going to try and put some uh, links for um, McThrifty and The Grateful Queen and Rebecca Allison because those are the other uh, videos that I watch consistently on um, YouTube and I, I learn a lot from them and I think that you can also learn a lot from them and uh, I think it I think her name is Lori Tata um, I watch her videos also um, I'll put links down in the bottom so that you can watch their videos and learn from the pros at it I know the Grateful Queen's been doing it for 12 years um, and she's a, a wealth of knowledge as far as brands and, you know, what to pick up, things like that. And Rebecca Allison, she's always putting out videos, um, of brands, um, that you should be looking for. And, um, so she's very knowledgeable also. Um, but I want to say thank you very much for watching and sticking with me for this, uh, long video. I will have some more videos coming up. Um, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so um, you can see when my next videos come out. I will be having that uh, Chico's Helpsy Source box unboxing and also I have um, my haul from the uh, Salvation Army coming up. So thank you for sticking with me for so long. I hope you have a good day and I'll see you on the next video. Have a good day. Bye.